Hey guys, what's going on? How you guys doing? Good? Good? Hockey fans are hockey fans. I mean, they're pretty, they're all still pretty much passionate. Um, obviously, I think in, in Boston is a more historic hockey fan base. You know, just people that are kind of basically born into it. And Stylus, it might be more of a families that have chosen it than having it run through their family and watching uh, hockey. But, you know, from, from day one of coming to Dallas to now, I mean, there's always been a hockey fan sport, but the amount it's grown and changed has been pretty, uh, you know, amazing and eye-opening. And, I mean, there's not a night where we're in our building anymore where it looks uh, empty at all. I mean, there are a few games my first year where, you know, you could say that uh, there's a lot of great seats up there, but, you know, not anymore. What camera is that? It's a Polaroid. I like your tattoos. Thank you. When growing up as a kid, my dad always made sure that I had eye contact and a firm handshake whenever I was doing that with people. And I don't know, I think it also breaks the ice because most of the times fans are nervous and it's something that, I don't know, just gets it right away and gets past the awkwardness of not knowing what to do. I'm so nervous. Oh my God. <laughs> Shaking a little. Yeah, I am. <laughs> so, uh, again, it puts things in perspective of how important, you know, a sport can be to people and, uh, you know, it's what they're watching TV on as a family, and you know that's why you want to give them the most respect you can for the short amount of time you have with them. No problem. No problem.